Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, going to do a quick overview of the Nilfgaard card I missed, along with uh, three Skellige cards. One that was recently just revealed by uh, Sadashin, I believe that's how you say her name, on uh, Twitch. Uh, so let's go over that one first, um, the new Skellige cards. They're pretty nuts. I like that they're bringing weather into play. Um, but pretty much a live reaction here. I, did, I only screenshotted it real quick. Um, it's a four for eight bride of the sea human druid cultist. So she's got three tags um, Maybe later on there'll be a cultist synergy somewhere uh, But she's a four for eight Deploy play an alchemy card from your graveyard with provision costs four or less Increase the maximum cost by the total duration of rain and storm on your opponent's row so the more weather you have the more provisions you can raise um so if you have two rains down you can get um giga scorpion or delirium i believe that's one of them too um it seems pretty good it seems like you're going to be able to play um two blades and um great swords in this list um but i think it's more I, I really think it's just going to be, and Arnahat is probably going to show up in this list as well, because you're going to have some seriously damaged people. Um, I love this art. It looks like Jessica Chastain. Um, I love this art. Really great. Um, I think this is a really good card. I mean, being able to... She's like um, Forest Protector for Skellige. I think it's pretty good. Um Let's go over the other one, the uh, Fulmar. Uh, same thing, Human Druid Cultist. He's a 6 for 12. This card's bananas. This was revealed by Ace of Plays. Um, deploy, Spawn and Play, Tears of Siren, which we'll go over that one next. Order, Replace Rain on an enemy row with Storm. So Skellige Storm. So Rain hits two units for two. Storm hits everything on the row for one. And you can make it go for multiple turns with your leader ability. Um, seems pretty good. <laughs> Skellige always gets good cards, man. I don't know what it is, but they just always get bangers. I mean, absolute bangers. Six for 12. That's worst case scenario and eight, but you're going to have like great swords and other stuff down more than likely to make up those other two points. So, and it's weather. I mean, Unless this deck is super overpowered, nobody's running weather clears, so. Um, <laughs> it seems pretty good. It seems like a real, real banger. I'll, and Skellige is going to be fun. I love weather effects, so I'm, I'm really going to like this one. Um, the Tears of the Siren. This was teased in one of the Masters or Open. This was revealed by ATR uh, Sharp. Uh, from TLG, uh, super cool dude. He's always the one. If you follow TLG on Twitter, he's the one posting all this stuff on Twitter. So I was happy he got a reveal. Um, um, saxophone enthusiast, uh, he can play the saxophone pretty good. Um, but it's a, it's an alchemy. Tears of Siren, spawn rain on an enemy row for two turns. So it's, you know, four for four, and then you get the siren. I don't know if the siren damages itself. Um, so that plays for six plus two the weather effects if you got great swords down or two blades, you know that it's gonna you know play for eight or whatever so um, fun card um, It seems like with all this you're gonna it almost seems like you're gonna have like a Getty um, Getty great swords maybe I don't know uh, it seems like it's uh it seems like it's going to be a really fun list. I, it, you know, Skellige has good bronzes. Um, and now that Getty's got some golds um, that they could pop in there. Because before they really didn't have any. The golds were like carryover and stuff like that. So I think this list is going to turn out pretty good. Um, probably the second list I'll build, to be honest. Uh, probably Nilfgaard. Skellige and then maybe monsters so far. Um, although uh, Malegion said his favorite faction to play when he tested it was Scoyatel, so I'm sure Scoyatel got hooked up too. But 
Super cool card. And then uh, let's go over the one Nilfgaard card uh, that we didn't go over yet, which I think is auto-include in every Nilfgaard deck, to be honest. Uh, Dead Man's Tongue. It's a uh, spell. Seven provisions. Banish a card from your deck. Then boost an allied unit by that card's provision cost. If the banished card was bronze, banish another bronze card from your deck and boost the same unit by that card's provision cost. So you get to do it twice. If you banish two, um, you banish two, four provision cards or a, a four and a five, you know, it could play for nine or, you know, eight, worst case scenario, but you're getting rid of BS cards, um, getting rid of tourney joust if you know you don't need it or, uh, battle prep or something um i think this card's incredible thinning is always good being able to find your golds and to put points on the board when you do it always going to be a good thing so uh i love this card i'm for sure the this card and the um the blight mage and the other one uh, are pretty much auto include i think in every nilf card deck now i mean i don't see why you wouldn't play any of these cards they thin your deck and they play for good points. So we'll have to wait and see. Nilfgaard will be the first one I build. I'll try to get something going. Um, short video. Um, try to get something going up for tomorrow. Maybe some more reveals. Because one more Skellige card is going to be revealed. The, I believe the common. So, But uh, like always guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>